In this session, let us explore some of the important commands that are available in the Hadoop distributed file system. The following command will list out all the files and directories present within the root directory of Hadoop distributed file system. This command will list out all the files and directories within the slash data directory. This command will display the contents of the following file on the terminal and this file is present within the Hadoop distributed file system. As you can see the contents of the file are being displayed. This command will delete the following file. This file has been deleted. We can confirm it on the web UI as well. As you can see, we didn't saw any file with that name. Neither we are able to list out this file on the command line since this file was deleted. This command will delete the entire directory. As you can see the following directory has been deleted. Over the web UI as well, we are not able to see this directory. This command will create an empty file on the Hadoop distributed file system. I have already created this file, I'll just list it out. As you can see, the file is present within the slash data directory. You can confirm it on the web UI as well. shows that it is an empty file. The following command will create a directory on the Hadoop distributed file system. Here we are trying to create a directory called test. As you can see the test directory has been created. Let us remove this directory. Now again if we list out, we won't be able to see this directory as this directory was deleted. These are some of the important commands available in the Hadoop distributed file system.